Hello everyone, this tutorial is about how to use depth player, which you can find at depthplayer.ucapeto.com. So this is to visualize uh, depth maps. So the first thing to do is to choose the picture. So here I have something from the Middlebury database. So let's load the, the reference image and let's load the depth map. So here the convention is that uh, black is far and white is near. So at this point, so this, this set of picture is a uh, the size is uh, 1390 by 1110. So you don't want to load very big images here. So this is a good size. But we'll see how to... I mean you can load larger images but then you probably need to downsample. I'll show you how to do that. So let's create the model. So it creates a 3D model. Okay, so with the mouse you can of course uh, left click moves around and uh, the wheel zoom in zoom out. So here there's not enough enough uh, depth in the scene so I'm going to change that. Uh, yeah and right now the the random mode is solid. But let's do first thing first, let's do, let's change the, uh, so if you want to extend the scene, the scene, you need to change the far plane. So here the far plane, I just click and I use the arrow keys to, to change, to change it. I'm going to go to, let's say 100. That should, that should stretch the 3D scene a little bit. And then and also I think I'm going to down, down sample so that it's faster to to load the model so every time you change something you have to recreate the model okay so this is the new model and as you can see the scene has been stretched quite a bit Okay, so this is in a uh, solid mode. I'm gonna change right away to point point cloud. This is the mode I like best because I hate those things, those stretchy uh, triangles there. So point cloud. Okay, so that looks much better, at least in my eyes. Okay, so now let's look at the parameters. The focal distance. If you change it, if you increase it, it's going to have the effect of a zoom in. And if you decrease it, it's going to have the effect of a zoom out. In my opinion, there's no point changing it because you can achieve pretty much the same thing with the uh, the mouse wheel. The same thing. So don't change that. Near plane, don't touch it. The far plane, you can change it to ex to extend to, to stretch the scene. Okay, so the next one is smooth mesh. Uh, maybe I'll switch back to solid. Okay, I'm back to solid and let's see. It's good. Like uh, here you have outliers. Those things here, those points are outliers. So if you use some smoothing, you might be able to get rid of them. But let's see what happens when you smooth quite a bit. So right now there's no smoothing, it's zero. So let's change that. Let's do, I don't know. Let's do like, uh, let's go like 50. So that's quite a bit halfway. Okay, so this is what happens. So of course the outliers are gone, but as you can see, like this brush is completely distorted now. I mean, it's uh, the 3D scene is much smoother, but you lose 
all the details like those brushes these things get distorted a lot of things get distorted so this is this was probably a little bit too much smoothing so let's change that to maybe 20 something more reasonable let's create the model again and now okay so you still have some distortion the outliers are gone but you have distortion so i usually don't smooth at all i try to fix my depth map before i load it into the depth player so let's go back to no smoothing okay next parameter you can play with uh, the quad size so as mentioned before this is a uh, basically a surface mesh made of uh, triangles but it's actually made of quads that have been split into two triangles so let's look at the mesh itself so you have to go to render mode wireframe which is the same as solid except that now you're going to see the actual mesh so wireframe so to see something you're gonna have to use the, the mouse wheel and come closer and you should be able to see uh, the quads so those are the quads and each quad is split into two and uh, the, the connections are made with triangles when you have quads at different depths Okay, so now what we can do, let's work on that quad size. So let's make the, um, the mesh coarser. So we're gonna go, I don't know, what's the max? Two. So now quad size is two, so the mesh should be twice as coarse as before. So let's create. And you can see if here you can now see the the quads pretty pretty nice pretty pretty well so it means it's much coarser and if you go closer you can see that the mesh is much coarser uh, I don't think it has any impact on the uh, if you have a point cloud but let's switch to point cloud so this is point cloud and maybe reduce the point size to one okay so this is the point cloud and let's see if the quad size has any impact I don't think it has I'm gonna go to 0.5 on the quad size and see if it impacts the number of, um, of pixels I don't think it does no i don't think it does it doesn't so it has no impact if you are in a, if you are in a point cloud mode the quad size has no impact so let's put it back to how it was i think it's um, i don't remember one i think it's one yeah one is the default okay so now we are in a, the point cloud mode So in the point cloud mode, the smooth mesh is active. You can smooth. So, okay, let's let's look like this. Let me increase the point size. So the point size is just the uh, the size of the pixel. So if you increase the point size, the pixel are just going to be a little bit bigger. Okay. I don't know if you can see, but yeah, they are they are a little bit bigger. So here yeah, I'm in uh, I'm in this mode, the point cloud mode, and you can definitely smooth the mesh uh, if you are in point cloud mode. So let's try, let's see if it were if that does something. Let's go to fifty. And 
me create model. Yes, so it definitely is smooth. Okay, so whether you are in a uh, solid mode, point cloud mode, or wireframe mode, smooth mesh is going to do something. Again, quite size is inactive in point cloud mode. Uh, point size is only active for uh, point cloud. And the last one, okay, let me go back to no smoothing. And right now I'm in down sampling 4, so let's do let's do more down sampling. So do we should get we should get fewer points. Let's go to 6. And yes, so the we get fewer points. And here you can see the individual pixels. Or the individual points, I should say, the individual points. Okay, so that's basically all there is to know with the uh, depth layer. The only thing I can say is that uh, if you uh, play around focal distance, near plane and far plane, especially if the image is, uh, is big, and you get some weird stuff going on when you create the model. Uh, it means uh, it means that there's something wrong with the the combination of those three. And in that case, when you create, if you keep creating mo the model, it's it's it will never go back to uh, being normal. So in that case, you have to uh, reload the whole page. And use and use a smaller image. That's that's my advice. Okay, so that's it for the Dev Player. Thank you for watching and listening. And as usual, if you like my videos, feel free to subscribe to my channel, and I'll make more. All right, bye.